One pulls everything together, the other pushes everything apart. In the gravitational corner, with 27% of universal mass energy, the dark matter. And in the expansionary corner, with 68% of universal mass energy, the mysterious dark energy. These two invisible forces make up about 95% of our universe. The rest, everything you see, touch, and measure, makes up just 5% of what's out there. Meet our first contestant, dark matter. Dark matter is essentially invisible mass that doesn't interact with light or other electromagnetic radiation. We can't see it, but we know it's there because of its gravitational effects on visible matter. Think of it as the universe's invisible scaffolding. The reason we can't see dark matter is because light passes right through it, as if it's not there. Now for our second contestant, dark energy, a mysterious force that permeates all of space and appears to be driving the accelerating expansion of our universe. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Ultimate Cosmic Championship. So how did we discover these invisible cosmic forces? Dark matter's story begins in the 1930s with Swiss astronomer Fritz Zwicky. While studying the coma cluster of galaxies, Zwicky noticed something odd. The galaxies were moving so fast that they should have escaped the cluster's gravitational pull, but they didn't. Something invisible was holding them together. Zwicky called this missing mass dark matter, but most scientists dismissed his findings. Later in the 1970s, Vera Rubin confirmed this by observing that stars in galaxies orbit much faster than expected, suggesting a massive, invisible substance was present. As for dark energy, its discovery came much later in the late 1990s, and it was completely unexpected. Two teams of astronomers, led by Saul Perlmutter, Brian Schmidt, and Adam Rees, were measuring distant supernovae to determine how much the universe's expansion was slowing down due to gravity. After all, the universe began with the Big Bang, so eventually gravity should slow that expansion, right? Wrong. They discovered something astonishing. The expansion of the universe wasn't slowing down. It was speeding up. This unexpected finding suggested the presence of a mysterious force counteracting gravity, now known as dark energy. They eventually won the Nobel Prize for this revolutionary finding. So, despite being discovered later, dark energy clinches a point this round, thanks to its Nobel Prize winning discovery. Fun fact, if dark energy didn't exist, gravity would eventually slow and possibly reverse the universe's expansion, leading to a big crunch where everything collapses back together. Now let's look at the evidence for each and how they behave. For dark matter, the evidence is compelling. First, we have galaxy rotation curves, the observation that galaxies spin faster than they should based on visible matter alone. Second, we see gravitational lensing, where light from distant objects bends around massive objects due to gravity. We can measure this bending and calculate the mass causing it. The result? There's way more mass than we can see. Third, we have the cosmic microwave background, essentially the afterglow of the Big Bang. Its pattern tells us about the distribution of matter in the early universe, and the math only works if dark matter exists. Fourth, when we observe galaxy clusters colliding, we can see the dark matter and normal matter separating. The most famous example is the bullet cluster. This image is probably the closest thing we have to a photograph of dark matter. The blue shows where most of the mass is, while the pink shows where the visible matter is. They're in different places. This is smoking gun evidence for dark matter. But what exactly is dark matter made of? We don't know for sure, but the leading theory involves hypothetical particles called WIMPs, weakly interacting massive particles. These particles would interact through gravity and the weak nuclear force, but not electromagnetically, making them invisible to us. Now let's look at dark energy's evidence. The primary evidence comes from those supernovae observations we mentioned earlier. Distant exploding stars appearing dimmer than expected, indicating the universe's accelerated expansion. We also see evidence in the cosmic microwave background and in studies of how galaxies cluster together across cosmic time. As for what dark energy actually is, scientists have several theories. It could be a property of space itself. 
Einstein's equations included something called the cosmological constant, a kind of energy inherent to empty space. He later called this his greatest blunder, but it might turn out he was right all along. Or it could be a new kind of dynamic energy field that changes over time and space, sometimes called quintessence. Or, and this is where it gets really weird, our theory of gravity might be wrong on cosmic scales. Some scientists even suggest that dark energy might be energy leaking into our universe from another dimension or parallel universe. But that's a topic for another video. While both dark matter and dark energy have compelling evidence for their existence, dark matter has stronger and more direct observational support. So this round's point goes to dark matter. So we have our contestants tied at 1-1, but who's winning this cosmic tug of war on the universal scale? In the early universe, dark matter had the upper hand. Its gravitational attraction helped form the first stars and galaxies, creating the cosmic web structure we see today. Without dark matter, you and I wouldn't be here. So dark matter pulls ahead. Its crucial role in the formation of galaxies and stars, essentially creating the conditions for our existence, earns dark matter a major point. For billions of years, the battle was fairly even. The universe expanded, but gravity from normal and dark matter kept things from flying apart too quickly. But about five billion years ago, something changed. As space expanded, the density of matter, both dark and normal, decreased. But dark energy, being a property of space itself, remained constant or even increased as space expanded. This was the turning point. Dark energy took the lead and the universe's expansion began accelerating. Today, dark energy is clearly winning, and as the universe continues to expand, dark energy's influence will only grow stronger. Dark energy gains the advantage. Its growing dominance over the universe gives it a crucial lead in our cosmic contest. Here's something terrifying to consider. If dark energy continues to dominate, in about 100 billion years, all galaxies outside our local group will be so far away and moving away from us so fast that their light will never reach us. Future astronomers will look up and see only empty darkness beyond our nearby galaxies, with no way to know there was once a vast universe out there. This scenario, called the Big Freeze or Heat Death, is currently the most likely fate of our universe. Eventually, stars will burn out, black holes will evaporate, and the universe will become an ever-expanding cold dark void. So dark energy is the clear front runner, gradually taking control of our universe's destiny and likely determining its ultimate fate. But the match isn't over. There's still much we don't understand. We've come a long way from looking up at the night sky and thinking we understand the cosmos. The truth is far stranger and more fascinating. So I'll leave you with this question. In a universe where 95% is invisible to us, what other mysteries might be hiding in plain sight? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And what other cosmic showdowns would you like to see next? If you enjoyed this journey into the dark side of the universe, please hit that like button, subscribe for more cosmic content, and check out our video on the battle between black holes and neutron stars.